All right, so I'm back out here, day two. Hurricane Dorian is taking up residency off the coast of Florida, giving me another opportunity up in Virginia to fish. So we're gonna try and make something happen here. Today I'm gonna be using the same rod and reel as yesterday. It's a Daiwa Samurai with a Sedona reel, 3000. 10 pound mono, and today we're gonna fish with a popping cork and I've got a couple shrimp. Uh, just regular Berkeley Gulp shrimp. I'm gonna put that on a quarter ounce jig head. I wish I had a eighth ounce or a sixteenth ounce, something smaller. But that's just what I came across on the way here, so. Um, for those of y'all that aren't familiar with fishing with popping corks, it allows your bait to be in the strike zone longer than just cast and retrieve. And sometimes you need that. Sometimes you don't. Um, but fishing with something like a shrimp, it's kind of perfect to, to let your bait twitch and pop in that area. Oh, I just got a hit. This was literally, literally my first cast. Well, I got about a half mile paddle ahead of me here. Half mile to a mile paddle. So let's do some channel updates. So the channel is doing great. Got over 100 subscribers in about the first 65 days. But if you're watching this video and you have a YouTube channel, Leave a comment for me, let me know that you have a channel and I'll check out your videos. Um, you know, and if you, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Helps me keep making these videos. And I appreciate everybody's help and making this all possible for me. All right, I'm creeping into an area where I'm seeing some bait popping up ahead. Yeah, there's like a feeding frenzy going on right in front of me. Okay. Oh, they're little shiners or something. Something's chasing them. Oh, it's a bait ball. Something's picking them off. Oh, there he is. There he is, fish on. I got to take it easy on these fish because I do have just 10 pound mono. Let's see. What do we got? Oh shit, that's a big trout. Woo. Yes, sir. That's a nice trout. Oh, I was not expecting that. Not that size. I almost wish I didn't catch it. Now all y'all are gonna be out here. <laughs> Woo! Man, that is a fucking nice trout. Let's, put, let's get him on lockdown. Meanwhile, I'm drifting underneath docks and no pliers today. I mean, why would you, why would you bring pliers to go fishing? That's not. Okay. Well, I finally got that off. Fortunately, messing with that trout, which I'll mess with the keeper trout like that all day if it means I get to keep it. I don't know. Look at this thing. 
I mean, are you kidding me? Fish on, fish on. Ah, please don't be a blue fish. I'm swimming, swimming to me. Yep. You said, please don't be a blue fish? Is that what you said? You know that's exactly what it's gonna be when you say something like that. or something. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So that gives you an idea what's on the bottom. Please don't break my line. Fresh oysters here. And this is why there's so many fish in here. Right here. Beautiful. Fish on, fish on, looks like a trout. Oh shit. He might go 14. We're gonna measure him. Ooh. I'll take that. I will take that. Um, let's see. I already have it measured on my rod here. Nope, he's 13. 13 inch trout goes back in the water. Thanks, buddy. All right, I got something nice here. Something just crushed it. Oh, I think it's another nice trout. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that one's got some scars on it. See, you play around the oyster beds and you get yourself cut up. Look at that thing. He's been rubbing the bottom and rubbed his stomach raw. Or she. All right, where's that stringer at? In case y'all are wondering, I did keep that blue fish. That's gonna make a nice flounder bait in a couple days. So, we are working on a stringer now. Not nearly as long as the other fish, but still a really good fish. Probably a 16, 17. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got ourselves something here. Besides a tangled up mess with the uh <laughs> with the stringer. Oh little one. A little 12 incher. So I had to switch again. I figured I could cover more area by throwing something that I retrieve on a cast versus a popping cord. So initially I, I had switched to a white curly tail. That that didn't work at all. First cast with the uh, saltwater assassin did work. See ya, dude. Now, I was gonna say, you gonna swim off? <laughs> well, the blues have moved in. Well, that's how I'm gonna end it. Just got broke off. Um, I don't know, it might have been a gar or something. It was a crisp hit. No more jig hit. So, I don't know if y'all can hear me or not, but I'm gonna head in. Got the two keeper fish. Um, one looks like maybe 20, 21. The other one looks like 16, 17. And I got that blue fish for bait. So, it's not bad for y'all can see that yeah that ain't bad anyway 
Not bad for about an hour, maybe 45 minutes of fishing, including the paddle time. So I've got about a quarter mile paddle into the wind. And that'll be it. Thanks for watching.